Hey, so welcome. Uh, welcome to my Zoom room. And there's a reason I'm in my Zoom room. And the reason is thanks to a guy called Phil Lippin. Because a week ago, that guy set my inbox on fire. Whether it was on LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter or whatever it was, or the message was basically variations of the same thing. Dude, have you seen mm-hmm? To which the answer was mm-hmm. And then, of course, the follow-up message was, well, you're going to have to wait for it. And I was like, this is crappy. And I want to show you that you don't have to wait for it. And in fact, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can make the basic gist of mm -hmm happen immediately. But first of all, maybe what is mm -hmm? It's a new app with the strange name of mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. My name's Phil, and I'm getting really tired of living all day on video. So we made a new app that tries to make this a better experience for everyone, make it easier for people to present, inform, entertain over video. We call it mm -hmm. And the basic pitch is it's instant weekend update. Let's you live out your vicarious John Oliver fantasy. So basically what we want to do is be able to get a picture in picture type effect, but we want to not have to wait for a tool. And I thought, well, maybe we can get away with that. And it turns out we can. Now, we could have done a fancy thing like use a green screen. And um, yeah, I decided not to. And I'll tell you why, because most people probably wouldn't use it. So sure, there'll be some artifacts and some things that won't be perfect, but it doesn't matter. We'll have this big flashing thing up here. And that's great. You know why? Because it means I can tell you all about mm -hmm, the way that Phil Lippin tells you about mm -hmm, And this is him here right now. And he's talking and you're delivering a presentation. And you can be presenting to people. You can be having a sales call to people presenting your slides like this, which is actually pretty rad, right? And I mean, clearly it's a rad idea because this idea alone was worth what five or 4.5 million dollars that's how much they got in a raise there by sequoia capital so clearly this is a concept that made a lot of sense you know phil Libin says mm -hmm, is about making it fun again making meetings fun and interactive and while i think that's cool i think there's a bit of a novelty component to that right? whereas there's actually real utility right if your meetings are crappy you'll make them better by having fun with them and you know silly moving your body around we can do that you know i can move myself but it's about having good compelling content and so I was intrigued by this and I jumped straight on, went on to Google and I started kind of searching. I thought, okay, well, let me go and try and find out. I want to go see what mm -hmm dot app is. And you go on there and it says, hey, join a queue. I was like, oh, this is lame. I don't want to join this queue. And it was like, it was worse. So first of all, you had to join the queue. That was pretty crappy. Second of all, you had to have a Mac, but I'm a PC guy, right? I don't use, I use a Surface. And so I couldn't, I couldn't even get it then. I had to lie and say, yeah, I got a Mac. I'll totally try this. But then I thought, why do I want to do that? We have this already. I own a presentation company called Missing Link. We can make this happen. So I went to my team and said, hey, we've got Zoom, we've got PowerPoint. Surely we can make this happen. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, I'm gonna be filming this for you. So I'm gonna actually start and I'm gonna film a little bit just so you can actually see what I'm doing here and how I'm making this happen. And the guys will drop this video in. Let me get a little bit of a view. And the guys are gonna drop this video in so you can see right now uh, there exactly what's going on so there's what you're seeing is what i'm doing so i've got my controller down here and all i'm doing is changing my virtual backgrounds right so this allows me to be able to present to you as if i'm the weatherman and that's great because weathermen are cool in fact we use weathermen in our training and our presentation training we always say like be more like the weatherman you know the weathermen are amazing they're able to move back and forward through content they'll like be talking to you and then they'll be like hey look Oh, look what just happened, it's amazing. Oh, the guys look over there, there's a cold front and then they'll get your attention again and they'll draw you back in. And then they'll say, look over there and look at this warm front coming from here and there's all that clouds and shit. And then they'll get your attention back again here and they draw you in. And of course, that's what speakers need to do. And he's like, look over there, look over here, look over there, look at me, I'm on a horse, ah, I'm on a horse. And you can be wherever you want, right? I can go back to my native Scottish roots and be in Braveheart. I can be strong and powerful like a warrior again, leading the clan. You can do whatever you want because why because it's so easy you're simply a case of actually just building up the model and the presentation you want to have and we want to show you exactly how to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to head over to my team from the academy of missing link and they're going to actually explain to you how you can make your presentation work this way josh over to you brother oh why hello didn't expect to see you here <laughs> thank you so much rich and as he said guys my name is josh and i quickly want to take you through the template that we've made just for you to make your very own picture in picture backgrounds we're going to call it a pip just for this. All right. So this template is broken up into two different sections. The first section is the pip background section where you'll be making your pips. And then the next section is the master slide section, which is where we're going to get started. So step number one, copy and paste all the slides that you've already made. So let me whip over to the slide that we made for Rich. 
Command C for those using Mac and Control C for those using Windows to copy and then Command V to paste for those using Mac and Control V for those using Windows. You then want to keep source formatting so that your slides look just the way that you want them. All right, so that is step number one done. Now to create our pips. So we'll start off by selecting the environment that we want to be in. And you do that by clicking on this icon here. I want to whip myself right to where Rich is, so I'll use his background. Boom, that is step number two. Step number three is now to create your actual slides. So you start off by going to insert, click on zoom, and click slide zoom. So we'll start off using fills slide, and then click insert. Then you move that to where it needs to be. Then you resize it. Well, wait, there we go. And then resize it, and that is our first picture in picture background done. So what you need to do is then go over to file, click export, and make sure that you select it as a JPEG and create a new folder. So I'm going to use a uh, pip background as my folder. And then I'm going to save the current slide only. So we'll say create that, save current slide, and then export. Boom, that is our first picture in picture background created. All right, so Rich had some really cool animated picture in picture backgrounds. So you're probably wondering how did he do that? Well, let me show you. So I've pre-made this slide right over here. This is the weather report background, and this is a video. And what you need to do is, once you have created the section for your pip, you'll then start animating it just like a normal presentation. So let me show you what we've done with our weather report background. Basically, we've taken it from here, and you see that it plays, but then it grows. And you can do that like a normal presentation. All right, and that is how it works. And once you have done that and completed all your animations, what you'll need to do is Command C to copy it again, and then you'll need to create a new presentation. Once you've done that, Command V to paste that in, make sure you keep your source formatting, and then we don't need the slide. And then File, Export, and export it as a MP4. So I wanna call this the Weather Report. And make sure you keep it at the presentation quality. You want it to look in HD, and then click Export. So that's it, and that is our second background ready to go. So while that's exporting, I'm gonna whip right over to Zoom to show you how to import your background. Okay, so here we are, and I know this is weird, it's kind of like Inception, but let me show you how this works. So what you'll do is you'll go down to this icon right over here, click on the arrow pointing up, and click Choose Virtual Background. Then you'll see a little plus over here, and I'd want you to click on that plus. This is where you'll get the option to import either a picture or a video. So I'm going to click on that and import our very first slide, which is this one, and then click open, and boom, there it is right in the background. So this is what not to do. Right now, my actual background is very, very busy. Try and make sure that your background is simple and clean to make sure that your presentation doesn't look like this. <laughs> all right, so you'll import all of your slides and your pips, and you'll operate your presentation from this panel over here. Don't be concerned if your image looks like it's flipped around. Your audience is seeing exactly what they need to see. All right, so that's it from me. I'm going to throw it right back to Rich. Let's go. All right, thanks so much, Josh. I hope you found value in that. I hope it's actually an idea you want to try. I actually really do believe, fun aside and jokes aside, this is a really cool way of presenting. And in fact, one of the cool things is it forces you to have small content. Sure, you can do full screen material like this and then get out of the way and engage with your content and your presentation material like that but it also allows you to actually just be presenting directly to people. And if you want to level up your presentation game, please visit us at Missing Link. This is what we specialize in. I'm 45 now. We've been doing this for people since I was 23, leveling up speakers. And in fact, we've got an exciting new program now, which turns amateur presenters into, <laughs> there's a cat, amateur presenters into professional speakers. And if you want any information on that, please drop us a mail at info at missinglink.com and I'll get back to you myself. Super exciting time, and Phil is right, it is a time where we can have some fun with people, right? It doesn't all have to be serious, it doesn't always have to be uh, terrible, we can have fun. In fact, that's why I've got all these board games, so I can have fun. Hey, look at me, I'm over there having fun. Terrible, I know. I'm not, I'm not proud, I'm not proud. In fact, at the after the ending sting, you're gonna see just how unproud I am. That's it for me, thank you so much for your attention. I hope you can have some fun with this thing. I hope. You're going to have some fun and enjoying this new world of presenting that we're in and new ways of engaging with your audience. And you can, by all means, wait for them mm -hmm to come. But why not actually beat the rush, beat the crowd, get the utility before it becomes just another novelty. That's it for me. Stay curious. Peace.
But we can still have fun. We can still do all the things that we want to do. Oh, sketch package. <laughs> ah. <laughs>